bat your eyes at me. Hey, what's going on? Charlie here. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning into multicasting. Thanks for tuning into a a rye multicasting. Mm. This bad boy. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm digging the cork. Yeah. Cork is my second favorite cork ever. It's indentured. I like it. Weighs a couple pounds. Sounded heavy. It is heavy. It sound like a chunk of change. It, it's a chunk of something. This bad boy here is a five-year-old, 100% rye whiskey. Mm. And this is winning all sorts of awards right now. Uh, this is a Frey Ranch Farmers Plus Distillers five-year-old straight rye whiskey, 100% uh, winter cereal rye. And this is coming out of Nevada. And it's kind of neat to put the XY coordinates on there. And yeah, this is a rye whiskey and I'm digging the label. A lot of people don't like green and yellow. I like green and yellow combos. And it's a bottled in bond, which means 50% ABV, yes. minimum four years old, but this is age stated, this is a five year. Mm -hmm. One thing I don't like, is something leaked at some point yes. yeah, and I got it. I delivered, stained the label. I ordered it online, so it was delivered. It came like that, so I don't know if, if another bottle had leaked on it and got it all nasty like that. I don't know. Whew. Blind, I'm thinking 291 comes to mind, or 291 rye. It's got that, not not a Texas sagebrush, but I call it a Colorado sagebrush. It's got that, that pepperminty, spearminty, savory note okay yes i got a lot of lemon on here like lemon and thyme yep lemongrass maybe even a lemon mamba not quite a lemon starburst so i'm getting i'm digging mm. i'm getting this cereal this is a cereal rye grain to me this hmm. is just straight up like lemonade well as soon as you said that i, I in my head, I'm picturing a Lynchburg lemonade. Uh-huh. As I got that whiff, just as you're saying, lemonade. A lot of lemon, uh, like a nice lemon with some spearmint and thyme. If you don't know, Lynchburg lemonade is Jack Daniels and lemonade. Kind of like an Arnold Parmel Palmer, but with uh, Jack Daniels. It's got a sweet smell to it. It does, it does. It comes across uh, maybe a little bit of Nutri-Swedish, a little artificial sweetener kind of sweetness. Mm -hmm. A little bit of vanilla, a little caramel, a little bit of sweet. You know what it is? It's a sweet oak. The sweet oak. Sweet oak. Yeah. Okay. But not over oaked at all. I'm gonna get have a go in. Have a go in. I like the smell. Mm -hmm. It's a fresh, fresh lemon smell. Mmm. Starts off. You know it's a rye throughout. Ooh. You got good. Got a good mouthfeel. Like the peppers. Blind, I'm probably thinking this is a seven-year. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a little bit stingy on the on the tongue. Flavors are uh, somewhat bitter, but like a, a bitter mm -hmm. honey, maybe I guess. So it, it does have that ABV sting to it, which I didn't think it would. I don't remember having that on the on our original uncorking. Uh, but you're right. The, for me, the finish is an old fashioned bitters. Um, maybe even a little bit of a chocolate bitter in there. A little bit of chocolate in there. You know this thing is a rye throughout. It is, it's not a punchy in the face rye, but it leaves you no doubt. There's no doubting that this is a rye. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have the clove, you have the anise, you have the kitchen spices, cinnamons there. Um, it, it's dang tasty. Um, hmm. This would be like a burnt piece of wheat toast. Um, but it's not, oh, no, it's a, it's a multi-seed bread. Mm-hmm. I'm getting a little, you said multi-seed, I'm getting a little sunflower seed cookie and a little bit of, um, oh, what are those uh, peppercorn cookies? Peppercorn, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, I'll give you that. Mm, do love me a good rye. And rye, I'll have you know, was the focus of last month's um, Whiskey Advocate. Rye is getting back up, which is good and bad. It's good for whiskey lovers. It's bad for me because rye is my favorite. So the more people that like rye, the more expensive it'll be. Hmm. Get a little bit of cinnamon on the nose now. I'm getting more clove now. More clove, maybe a little bit of a cotton candy in there now. A uh, colored mar. Remember those, remember those bags of miniature marshmallows that were colored? And anytime your mom wanted to throw a curveball at you, she put those in your Rice Krispie cookies instead of the normal marshmallows. A little bit of that. Hmm. 
I don't think my mom ever made rice well, with cookies. Well, not everybody can have a mom that loves them, Jean. <laughs> no. Not everybody can. My mama loves me. She's probably watching right now. She'd be like, I love my baby, Yeah, she, get, she gave me today. She gave me a, or Bucky gave me a handful of cherry pits to build plant for cherry trees. Mm -hmm. So with one drop of water, it brought out some, uh, like some dark fruits, like a little bit of a uh, really dark cherry mm. or mulberry or something kind of a, a finish. Um, Maybe even a blueberry, mm. but not so much blue as the, those red, dark berry. It, it, it does. It, for me, it cranked up the peppers. It cranked up dark notes and bitters. Yeah. I'm getting bitters a lot lately. Mm. And they have, they have a lovely saying on here. My journey. My journey starts with the love of growing grains in a sustainable way here at the ranch. Over 1,500 acres just east of the Sierra Nevada mountain range. Every time I step into the land, I can feel generations before me. I've tilled the soil, planted the seed, and, and grown the grain specifically for making a rye whiskey unlike any other. Made from 100% winter rye, sustainably grown right here on the Frey Ranch. Sounds like Jim Nance saying uh, at the Masters, hello friends. Welcome to the Masters. There's no place like any other. <laughs> Read well, me another well, story, Daddy. Well, the Masters are going on right now. I, got, I channel, channel my inner, was it G Smiley on Saturday Night Live? Smiley. And, yeah, Smiley and, uh, and Bill, Jim Nance. Jim Nance hey, it. Talk. You're good enough, you're smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like you. I'm going to do a terrific show today, and I'm going to help people because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he does that pretty well, huh? Score time, score, score time. time. I really like the finish going on. Score it's time. It's really long finish. Score time. Yeah, this is a good job. Fry Ranch, Fry Ranch. I don't know if it's Fray or Fry. If it's Fry, it'd be even cooler. Mm -hmm. What if, what if the Fry Ranch folk married somebody from the Hamburger Ranch folk? Oh my goodness. They'd have to at that point. They'd have to open something. A ketchup farm is what they'd have to do. <laughs> they have no choice. 90, oh, what'd you do, Gene? 89. 89. Yeah. Boom, this is a, and I love it when they, they can do four years and call themselves Bottle and Bomb, but they want that extra year. Uh, and look at the color. The color of the bottle is just, I love the bottle. The bottle is just gorgeous. This just won uh, the double gold at San Francisco World Spirits Comp Competition. Can't you talk can't today. You can't say anything. Can't talk. This um, just got y'all tongue tied. If you haven't checked this out, this is one of the awards left and right. If you have checked it out, what did you think of it? It's a unique flavor. I mean, if you're going and expecting yep. rye, rye, punch in the rye, face rye, like mm -hmm. he usually does. I love a punch in the face, right? Yeah. Yes. This um, is more of a, a unique, different kind of fry, but it's really yummy. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know how much it was? Yeah, I do actually. How much was it? I'm going to guess. No, I'm not. Wait, how much was it? $61. It's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. This, this, you say it's not a punch in your face, right? You know it's right. The rye is there. Rye does not go away. Right. But it's not a, it's not like an over flavored rye, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know. No. Anything to add, Jean? No, I don't have anything else to add, surprisingly. I appreciate that. We need to go hunt for a ketchup farm now. Yeah. I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. And I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. <laughs> <laughs>